So I just watched Chompy and the Girls and it is so awkwardly fun. This is a horror comedy film and stars Christy St. John, Steve Marvel, Julie Dolan, Harry Williams, Seneca Pagliotta, Reggie Kaufman as Chompy, and Udo Kier as the voice of Chompy. The film was written and directed by Sky Prabant. The movie is about a troubled woman named Jackson, played by St. John, who meets her father, Sam, played by Marvel, for the first time and their encounter goes from awkward to alarming when they witness a man, Chompy, played by Kaufman, swallow a little girl whole. Then, both of them get stalked by Chompy and they fear that they are next to be eaten too. Yeah, I figure if he's coming for me, he's coming for you too. We gotta go! This movie is so weird and bizarre, but in a good way. Even though this is a low-budget film, which can be seen in some special effects, but the story is solid, the acting was really good, and the practical effects mixed with CGI was amazing. I mean, look at that mouth! <laughs> This film is so campy and it owns it. <laughs> I also like the plot twist. If you haven't seen this film, stop watching this video and watch the movie instead. You can find it on Amazon, Google Play, Voodoo, Tubi, and iTunes. Anyways, the plot twist is that Chompy is not really the monster Jackson and Sam thought to be. He is actually a mouth angel on a mission to stop and capture a Rick Seller, a shadow parasite who was attached to this little girl Birch, played by Pagliotta, which is the girl they saw in the park. Yep, the helpless girl that Jackson and Sam tried to help is actually the villain. It is a parasite who attached itself to souls, who was vulnerable enough and assimilated everyone to an exact replica of her. Chompy was only following Jackson and Sam because he was scared that they will tell everyone about his existence and he will fail his mission. He wanted to put Jackson and Sam into his mouth to explain the situation. And I will destroy the Rixilla. However, you must not alert anyone of my presence. Yeah. Wait, Chompy and the girls. Chompy and the girls. I get it now. This movie is very enjoyable to watch. Not to mention it has some funny moments. Get your shoes on. No. You drank the pill. Yeah, I, he was gonna give it to her. You couldn't just take the drink? Or you could have spilled it out or just tell her? Who the fuck are you? Good supporting cast and a good character development for the protagonist. Jackson is an impulsive ex-heroin addict who pushes everyone away by being mean and also suicidal mainly because of her loneliness and depression. I am not a happy person and I like to tell myself it's because I live in California and I hate California and I like to tell myself it's because my mom sucked and I didn't know my dad and I really, really like to tell myself it's because I'm a heroin addict and if I move to some naturey countryside if I quit heroin cold turkey if I won the California lottery mega millions I would be happy for a month or two or three max and then I would just be right back where I started meanwhile her dad Sam who was an anxious man and has a fear of facing a conflict I can't do this I'm sorry, I, I, I don't think I can do this. What? You, 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 you seem great, and I, and I, I, I really want to get to know you, but I, I just, I just don't think I can do this right now. I didn't even know you existed, and now, all of a sudden, I, I, I gotta go. And thus, their first meeting did not go well. But as the film progresses, the two learn to communicate well work on their issues, and work together as they try to survive the night. St. John and Marvel have a good chemistry as father and daughter, and their interaction feels so natural. I also love that the film focuses on the importance of good communication. Sam, finally facing his fear of facing a conflict, decides to talk to Chompy and try to understand what is going on. Which Chompy responded truthfully, and Sam and Jackson realized that he was not a threat, but instead, he is trying to save the humankind. The same goes for when Jackson tried to talk to Birch. Just talk to me, okay? What's... I don't want to hurt anyone. Also, the time Sam and his wife Deborah, played by Dolan, decided to talk about their marriage. We never... You never communicate with me. I don't communicate? I mean, well, not... No, no, not, not like that. I just... I mean... 
When's the last time we had a real conversation? When's the last time you asked me how my day was? I try to talk to you. Sam, you talk to me about nothing. We've been communicating on small talk. I think since before we were married. And at the start of the movie, Jackson, after her failed suicide attempt, decides to reach out to anyone and even though most of them didn't respond to her. Hey mom, I need to I ask can't you to talk right now. Just hang out. Really? Uh, we don't really have that kind of relationship, Jackson. She didn't give up and texted her father instead. Although both of them got on the wrong foot at first, they decided to talk and understand each other, which resulted in them saving the day. I also like the one where the rope that Jackson uses to end her life is also the one used to save her life. It's all about our perspective and what we chose to do with it. The story of Chompy and the girls is really touching. I can't believe that I cried watching this really weird but wholesome movie. Overall, this is a really good movie, with its campiness and heartfelt moments. This film is a true testament that making a good movie is not about having a million dollar budget and great CGI, but instead having a good story, interesting characters, and never forget to entertain viewers.